in this video tutorial we will learn how we can make a battery level indicator for 12 volt battery battery can be of any type like lead acid or lipo or lithium ion or whatsoever you have so for it first of all you need to select one ic that is lm3914 so it is linear dot bar display driver IC. Press OK and place the IC in the middle of the Proteus. You can see on right hand side that there are some outputs that ranges from 1 to 10. On these outputs, we must have LEDs for voltage indication. So we are using just green LEDs. You can put around 10 LEDs here. It is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10. Now drag and select them out. Right click on it and click on rotate anti clockwise and then on 180 degrees. So now, first of all, place D10 LED on the top here, then place D9 LED here. Then you can place D8. Then you can place D7. And one thing you should have to keep in your mind that all the negative sides, that is cathodes of the LEDs, must be connected to the outputs rather than the anodes. So you should have to keep this point in your mind. Okay, after D9, put D8 here, D8, D7, and then after D7, you should have to put D6, and then D5, and then D4, then D3, D Two and D one. Now do one thing that connect all the anode sides or anode terminals with each other, like this. Okay, now you should have to connect the 10 with the pin number 10 of LM3914. Then D9 with pin number 11. D8 with pin number 12. And D7 with this 13. And D6 with 14. D5 with 15, D6 with this, and this, this, and this. Now we have connected all the LEDs. Now do one thing that connect this V positive with the Anodes. 
now take one ground and connect it with the V negative of the LM3914. Also connect this RLO with the ground. Do short this VRO and RHI with each other. Okay. Also take one push button. Which must be of active specification. Now connect this mode with this push button. Now take two batteries. One must be connected with the the common anodes. Okay. Then the negative of the battery must be connected with that of ground. Now for signal that is SIG signal pin we need 112 volt battery which needs to be monitored. So it is plus 12 volt now. Now do one thing that uh, take one ground and connect the ground with the negative side of the battery then go to the components and just write what potentiometer port and also write active active is actually port which can change its state it's not fixed that is we can change its state so this one and signal must be connected to the wiper pin of the potentiometer the, the middle one is the wiper pin go to edit properties and you must have to write here 4k or 4.5 or 4k is enough so 4k and also take 1.6 volt resistor First of all, you can took any resistor like uh, 10k. Yes, we can like uh, 10k point six watt. Then you can change its value as yes, okay. So it's 4k, it's 10k, and for to measure the values here, we need. Okay. Also, take this button with the battery that is of 9 volt, but you can change it to the 12 volt. Now, take two more resistors that is of one is 2.7k and the other is 3.9k. Yeah, just click here. It is of 2.7k. Attach here and one uh, rotate it. That is rotate clockwise. And connect. ADJ pin in the mid of this 2.7k and 3.9k.
okay also uh, connect this with the ground and then we can run this code okay now for petal visualization now we can we can see that the leds are showing us a proper voltage indication so hopefully you got the concept and how to use this led based let us hit battery indicator so thanks for watching